This is the final build video for this little marble machine. In the last video, I built the track, and so now when you flip on the switch, it works. So, now I'm gonna clean it up. So the next thing I need to do is sand down all the edges, make it all smooth, and then I'm gonna stain it and add a clear coat, and then it'll be done. When putting on all the track barriers, I didn't worry so much about what the top or bottom edge looked like, only focusing on making sure it was high enough to keep the marble on the track. So I started by sanding down all those edges with a Dremel. Some spots were smaller and harder to reach, so I used a smaller sanding barrel to reach those areas. To give a smoother finish to everything, I used high grit sandpaper and carefully sanded the surfaces by hand. Another thing I wanted to do to make the machine look better is build a box to hide the battery pack. I took off the tape that was holding the wires in place and started piecing together the box. The connection to the battery pack, as well as some of the extra wire, will all be compacted and hidden as much as possible in the box. The front of the box is attached to the battery pack. It couldn't span the entire width of the box because of how close everything is to the outside edge. After doing all that sanding, I ran a test to make sure everything was still working correctly. Once I was sure of that, it was time for staining. Since there are so many nooks and crannies on this small machine, I wouldn't be able to apply the stain like you would on furniture. I applied the stain with a sponge brush and spread it around as evenly as I could. I chose this color because it matches the other furniture I already have, so it'll make a nice addition to the living room. Once that had dried, I ran a test to make sure the stain wouldn't affect how the marbles rolled down the track. During this test, I wasn't quite happy with how it looked. The stain was nice, but the gold lift just didn't fit. Some of the stain spilled onto the lift, and that would be a good excuse to change the color. So I decided to paint it black.
The very last task was to seal the machine. I taped over all the exposed circuitry, such as the motor, switch, battery pack, and pulley gears. I didn't think the sealer would affect the performance of the moving parts, but now was not a time to take that kind of risk. To seal the machine, I used a semi-gloss polyurethane spray. It would be too hard to make sure all those nooks and crannies were covered using a paint-on product, so I opted for the spray. It also made things go quickly. I applied a few thin coats to make sure everything was properly covered. After taking the tape off, the machine was done. Now it's just time to enjoy the finished product. I'm really happy with the decision to change the color of the lift. It definitely improves the look of the machine. I'll be working on a final showcase video, but until then, here are a few shots of the machine in action. That's it for now. See ya!